November 26th, Spike Treve versus Kid Lycos, Mask versus Title. That may not sound like a, a big wager on my behalf, but I wanted to take this time to explain a bit of the, the history and heritage of masks and then why it means so much to me. In traditional Mexican culture, uh, that's where masks originated, around like 1915 or something like that. It grew to be something in touch with the Aztec culture in Mexico and became these larger than life personas and many fantastic wrestlers began as masked wrestlers or still are. Obviously you have Rey Mysterio as the probably the most prolific masked wrestler worldwide, like everyone knows him. People like Atlantis and Mystico in Mexico. You have Jushin Thunder Liger and the great Sasuke in Japan. I've been doing this 10 years in the mask. I, I started wearing that mask in 2013 and it's been the best 10 years of my life. It's all I've known. It's been the constant throughout ever-changing things, throughout the rise, throughout the retirement, throughout the injuries, throughout the comeback. The mask is the constant thing, it's who I am. In this industry, all I know, bell to bell, curtain to curtain, is this mask, is, is kid like us. It is a part of me that will never separate. Spike Treve has asked me to put that on the line in the endeavor of reaching the goals I want. I don't foresee a way that I lose this because I can't lose this. No other outcome is acceptable. So November 26th, I will walk into the ballroom wearing the longest tenured mask I still own, and I will walk out of the ballroom still in that mask, still who I am, and with the Progress Wrestling World Championship. <laughs>